Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys, so I have two plays for you guys today. We have college football as well as a college basketball play. Masterclass, we have five additional college basketball, two more football, and one hockey to round it out. So yesterday, uh, we finished 0-2 overall. Um, Iowa, yeah. Iowa, very disappointing. Um, I th I really thought there was a quite a momentum swing. While there was numerous momentum swings from the you know interception to uh, the missed field goal, and then ultimately a fitting way to end it by fumbling, getting the first down, and then fumbling back behind. Um, I I don't know that I've seen that before. Not in college, anyways. I I don't recall. Anyways, um, Anaheim looking good, um, and then. Yeah, had a meltdown, and that was more or less the story of yesterday. Um, there was just so many different games that just decided to spiral. Um, we had we had three different bets on OKC yesterday. Um, we had OKC on the spread, the half unit plays, but we had OKC on the spread. We had the team total over 102, and we had the over for the game. It was about eight minutes to go in it. We're looking gold like we're going to get them all. Um, so looking very nice. And then OKC, basically, more or less, we needed to get, um, we needed nine points in, in just under eight minutes. So pretty obtainable, I would say, right? Can, especially considering OKC does average over 25 points in the fourth quarter. Um, very, very obtainable. And then they just started putting up three after three after three after three and missing. And I'm not sure why, because they weren't out of the game. But anyways, um, needless to say, they didn't get it. They ended up over the course of eight minutes, I believe they got six points. So uh, yeah, finished the quarter with only 13 points. All three of those went down. Um, we had the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks, um, big early lead, blew that, but it's okay. They managed to, managed to hang on to the buzzer. And then at the buzzer, a three-pointer, and they lost by a point. So, um, yeah, that was that was more or less, um, you know, yesterday. It was disappointing. Uh, it, it always seemed, I, I mean, this is weird. This is nothing new. Over the years of sports betting, and I've never really been, figured, been able to figure this aspect of it out. Maybe it's just the ebb and flow of the world itself. But it always seems like, you know, when you're having a bad day, Anything that can go wrong just does. It just, you know, it, it finds a way where, you know, teams seem to blow leads one after another. Um, but I don't know. It is what it is. This is why. This is why we practice bankroll management. Um, you know, test us. Now, anytime you have, uh, you know, really bad day or a run of bad days, you know, the temptation is there. You know, I got to get this back. I got to, you know, increase my unit size. I have to get it back. And look, if you chase, you might get it back. I'm not saying that you won't every time. I'm just saying that now you've formed a habit that you might go to again. And it might work the second time. You might get back and you might even be up and you think, wow, like what a smart play that was. But sooner or later, it's going to get you. And that's going to be the end of your bankroll. So really the only decision that you make going forward is, you know, do I revalue my unit size? Um, or, you know, just whatever. Lower my bets, whatever the case may be. Chasing is not going to be the answer ever, ever, ever. And I see after, you know, a couple 0 oh, and 2 days and stuff, you think, well, I got to get it back. But the reality of the situation is, guys, when you think long-term in sports betting, you will get it back, okay? But if you chase, you might get it back today. You do it again in, you know, three months, you chase again because you had a little losing streak. You might get it back. But sooner or later, now that you've formed that habit, it will get you and you will lose your bankroll. So... Let's move on to our plays today, guys. So um, we are going to start off in, uh, we'll start off in college football, uh, Pittsburgh and Michigan State. We're going to go half a unit under 55 and a half, half a unit under 55 and a half. 
Um, I would, I, I, there was, I don't think there is any more. Actually, let me just check the line here. There was a couple, um, I'm looking at the wrong game. There was a couple, no, everything's 55 and a half. I was going to say look around for 56, but no longer exists. So, um, half a unit under 55 and a half. All right, guys, over to college basketball. Um, we, we're going to do a first half play here. Now, I do give out a fair amount of first half plays in Masterclass. Um, we've done very well with them so far this, pardon me, this year. Uh, we had one yesterday, got it done pretty easily. Um, and I have a number of first half plays today. So um, we're going to go with game 793, Louisiana Tech, Marshall, under 74 first half. Okay, so Louisiana Tech, Marshall, under 74 points first half. So got some more um, first half plays in Masterclass. If you are interested in Masterclass, guys, BenderWins.com. It's $99 a month, and it gets you my full card every single day. Plus, 15 Masterclass educational videos walk you through the A through Z or Z, depending on what country you live in, uh, of sports betting. Yes, we, we say Z or Z differently in Canada, believe it or not. Anyways, guys, that's it for us today. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day and bye for now.